for his uh, address. Uh, let me welcome all the architects, designers, planners, engineers. I mean, I, you told me that more than 1,000 are already online. So uh, my uh, hearty compliments to all of you for joining this exciting journey. I'm sure you must be part of it. We are only, we are organizing this uh, seminar or webinar today to reinforce what you have been doing. In fact, this uh, uh, challenge was launched on 27th of uh, 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 July, 27th of July, and uh, both Professor Jare, uh, uh, Jare as well as Professor Sasputde, they were very much part of that uh, uh, webinar where this uh, particular challenge was launched. And this is further reinforcing that. Uh, such kind of opportunity. This is a historic opportunity for the architects, for the designers, for the planners, for engineers, for the social scientists. Such kind of opportunities come rarely in centuries. I am not talking about a one century, but in centuries, where something which you are going to create is going to define the nation for millennia. And it is going to be a dream of the billions of people across the country. It is, it is going to be a statement by a nation which is inhabited by 135 crore people. That's a, that's a huge number. So our, I mean, this is Indian, as an Indian, an iconic tower coming in the 75th year of the Indian independence, when the whole country is celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav which was launched in the month of March at Savarvati Ashram by our Honorable Prime Minister and it is going to be there till August 2023. You heard him speaking in his address to the nation from the ramparts of Red Fort on the 15th August. The kind of expression he read, what is that which we are going to make when we are going to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Indian independence. Now here is an opportunity for all of you, a creative thinkers, somebody who can think, think in time in different dimensions, not in three dimension or four dimension, multiple dimensions. What is that which can define, which can represent uh, Indian aspirations of this age, the age which is going to be recognized as the most transformative age after Indian independence. This kind of change, I am witness to this for the last seven years. I have been additional secretary in the ministry for the three years. And after that, more than four years, I have been secretary of the two ministries, which were merged together and made into the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. For the last seven years, not only in my ministry, but I can vouch for it across board in all sectors. This kind of transformation has never happened in the last 75 years. And this kind of aspiration has not been there, the kind of whether it is Indian in India or Indian abroad. Indians in Australia, in America, in, uh, in Europe or any part of the world, the kind of the feeling of pride, the feeling of something they can do for their nation, that kind of a thing was never there. Now, can that be translated into a iconic tower? Why I am saying so? Because you may be aware, maybe through the news, maybe through the various reports on the electronic and the public media, or through the various discussions, that the capital city of the country, that is the main capital area, which is called the Central Vista, it is transforming in a big way. Like the nation is transforming, the nation's the place of power where the whole government sits, the central government sits, that is transforming in a big way. It was started with the new parliament building. We have a parliament. Some people ask, I'm not going into those details, but I can say the parliament which was uh, dedicated to the nation in 1927 was never made as a parliament. It was never built as a parliament. It was built for a specific purpose. And the purpose was over once the India got independence. But it was retrofitted, it was remade 
to serve the purpose of parliament because we decided we as a nation through the constitution of india decided to go for a bicameral uh, pol political system and that is how things were retrofitted in fact two more uh, floors were added to this and that damaged the beauty of the building which was constructed by the latian and baker in the year completed in the year 1927 now is the time when we are celebrating the 75th year our honorable prime minister laid foundation of the new parliament building in december 2020 and i'm very confident being there i mean i'm i mean the, uh, i have a great opportunity that i am uh, uh, instrument in uh, getting this dream of the nation a parliament of the people's parliament the citizens parliament getting constructed and i'm quite confident but that when we celebrate uh, uh, this uh, during the 75th year the winter session of the parliament is going to be held in the new parliament building and it is going to be one of the best parliaments across the globe it will have the facilities of the kind which any other nation would like to aspire the country is country has that kind of confidence we have the people we have the technology we have the confidence we have this uh, i mean all the wherewithal including all the material which is going to be used it is atmir bar bharat we are making use of all indigenous things we are transforming our central vista avenue i'm sure those who have joined from delhi or those who have joined from different parts of the country or even those who have joined outside the country because this challenge is open to overseas citizen of india also so those who have joined even from outside they, and if you have visited delhi if you have visited central vista the, the where the parliament where the uh, 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 i mean the, all the power uh, the ministries and all those are there the rajpath it may be, it i mean the, it may not have inspired you that much as you think it should be but now i am confident the way the transformation is going on the next republic day parade which is a annual phenomenon which is annually every year republic day parade is held on the central vista avenue it is going to be completely transformed new central vista avenue and something which every citizen of the nation is going to be proud of it is going to be something which every indian living in india or living outside even as overseas citizen of india will all be proud of the new central vista avenue which is coming up and this will be uh, this will be there before january 2022 the new parade republic day parade is going to be there in fact with the whole plan of the central vista master plan this is development of the redevelopment is taking place the whole area the new i mean the whole all the ministries which are spread across delhi even going in ncr some of the our offices are in the ncr outside delhi they are all going to come on the central vista and there is going to be something which latian thought it is already recorded it, the seat of power which will inspire people which will give the government the kind of uh, efficiency the synergy where the government can perform unfortunately they were spread across the city they are all going to be here in the next four five years we are going to have a, a monumental museum our country i mean we i heard speak of uh, what our professor anil satbuddha was speaking the country has a heritage recorded of more than 5000 years it is millennia i mean the the indian civilization nobody knows how old is this civilization is there and this civilization has got all variety of things our museum is only around 30000 square meters uh, build up area we are going to relocate it on the north and south block all the offices are going to be uh, i mean going to be placed in the different offices the beautiful offices which are going to come up in the north and south block offices it is going to be 1.5 lakh square meters of the plate on which the new museum is going to come up and that is where the india will be showcased so many new things are coming up i mean the whole national center for art or, or archives is going to be reworked into a i mean this is the maintaining the heritage it is going to come up in a way that uh, uh, i mean that is what how the archives should be i mean uh, uh, the best archives in the world we are benchmarking the team is already the, our 
our uh, scientists, the social scientists, they're already working on it, how to get the best archives in the world. So when all this transformation is going on, one of the ideas which Latian had, which has been recorded in the history, if you see the uh, books, if you see the uh, 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 something which has written at that point of time, they thought of making the central vista from the ridge to the river. When I say ridge, it's a Rauli ridge. The Rauli ridge starts just behind the Rashtrapati Bhavan, which used to be the uh, Viceroy's residence at that point of time. And the river is the river Jamuna. But unfortunately, they could not realize it. It is started only from the Vijay Chowk, I mean Vijay Chowk, and went up to the uh, Sea Hexagon. Now we have thought of, we cannot make it in a geometric formation, but definitely starting from the western side, just, I mean, close to the end of the Rashtrapati Bhavan, there as a arboretum, a national uh, biodiversity arboretum, and on the eastern side, on the western bank of the river Jamuna, right up to there, and there could be, I mean, there could be geometrically, this distance will be six kilometers, rather than three kilometers, which is present uh, distance of the central which side will be expanded to six kilometers. On the easternmost side, there is a plan of the new India garden. The new India garden is going to represent the new India, and India, which is, I mean, our honorable prime minister has given it, I mean, he has given his vision about the new India, and India, which gives opportunity to all its citizens to realize their best without any kind of discrimination based on caste, I mean, different caste, creed, gender, different kinds of things, or without being inhibited by the various kinds of things like terrorism, uh, 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 communalism, or being inhibited by, I mean, say, clean, neat, uh, this is a very new, new kind of thing, and already a lot of things have been done. I mean, those I mean, uh, who are participating from different parts of India, you would realize that our cities had never been so clean as they are today. Even the rivers, even the water bodies, things have changed. Yes, I'm not saying that it has reached to the, to, the, uh, to the final what we have aspired to be. There is still a distance to go. But the way it has happened, the way it has happened, now there is a way, now there is a confidence that we can really do it. So this uh, uh, New India Garden, New India Garden is going to represent India right from old to the present India and aspirational India. It will have a, a, a history, it will have culture, it will have various kinds of things. But there in the New India Garden, I mean the already uh, uh, work has started on a Amrit Biodiversity Park. This Amrit Biodiversity Park is 118 hectares on the two sides of the river Jamuna. The work is already going on. And this Amrit Biodiversity Park is going to be I mean, the, in this year, representing different parts of the Indian struggle for the independence, different kinds of plantation. The work is already going on in collaboration with our National Botanical Research Institute and the Delhi Development Authority and many others, uh, Delhi University, all of them are working together. The work has been approved and it is already going on. Part of the Amrit, Amrit uh, Biodiversity Park on the corner in 22.22 acres, 22.22 acres, why it is 22.22 acres? Because it is the year 2022 is most important, the year of the 75th year of Indian independence. On this land is going to be the new India garden. And on this new India garden, in one area, on the same axis, which I said, it is going to be six kilometers from the west to the east. On that place, there is going to be iconic tower. This iconic tower should define this age. Somebody sees even after thousand years, he or she should get a feeling what India was in the year 2022, what it was in the year 2023, what it was when the this transformation, the quick, I mean the very, uh, 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 I mean transformative action was being taken in those ages. What India was, what has change the course of India. That is the iconic tower is going to be and you have an opportunity to create that iconic tower. You have an opportunity to think over it and come out with a solution. And that is why they, we have uh, uh, created this video and this video is available on our uh, uh, website, the CPWD, which is the Central Public Works Department working under my ministry. 
on their website this is www.cpwd.in on that website you can see the video you can see the details this competition is open to all indians it is open to all indian uh, uh, citizens all indian organizations any organization which is working in india they are uh, eligible to participate in it all overseas citizen of india i mean those who are indian but in search of some opportunities post independence they had to leave india they are uh, now the overseas citizen of india they they do not have the voting right but they have got many other rights they can come and live in the country for a uh, any period they want to they can come and profess any kind of a business or a profession in india so overseas citizen of india also i mean i know i mean being a product from iit kanpur i know that lot of them are professors i mean very important positions working i mean the, at different places across the globe in fact i do meet some of them in during my foreign visit so they can all participate in this and you can also it is not necessary that you can participate in individual capacity you can network today in the time of the uh, digital uh, 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 digital technology people sitting in sydney in amsterdam in uh, 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 johannesburg in uh, uh, chicago and in delhi and in bangalore six or seven of them together they can work as if they are sitting in the same room as if i am talking to you we are sitting in the same conference hall so they can sit together and they can plan they can replan they can work on this and they can come out with a beautiful design which this nation is going to visit in future what is this design should could be i mean we have just only narrated few examples please don't be uh, guided by or don't be restricted to what we have said because we already had one challenge we had earlier launched a challenge in which 126 architects had participated and i would like to really thank all of them that they they gave their best but somehow we found that none of them all this 126 of them is not something which will kind of a just i mean the, uh, you get a feeling of a different kind i mean uh, is something which is okay this is this is what this age represents they have done their best i mean all of them per se i think all of them each every individual entity which have entries which has come they all uh, uh, would have got i mean uh, 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 applauded by anybody but we need to work further we have to take an extra mile we have to think extra and that is why i said it is not necessary that you should come individually in fact most of the entries were individual there now i would like to encourage and i will request uh, professor sasabuddhe because i don't come in community uh, contact with so many of you like this but professor sasabuddhe yes as a as a professor as a uh, chairman of the icit he uh, comes in contact on different forums you should definitely encourage people to get a network and in that network all of you can together come out with a something with a very brilliant design and then the jury may find a difficulty whom to give first whom to give second but what is that which will represent you? that is more important first second is not important what is that which you are going to get is going to be more important and there the prizes are 5 lakhs and 1 lakh the prizes are only i mean they are symbolic the biggest prize is your name is going to be there on the plaque for all the time like we remember latian and baker even after 75 years and they will be remembered even after 100 years they will be remembered after 500 years so the architect who has designed this or the group of architects who have designed this or the or group of organization and the architect it could be any combination any combination whatever it could uh, whatever may work they are going to remember for time till this iconic tower is going to be there now this iconic tower when you design well it is not an artist design it is not simply you create an art it is something which will have to be physically there so please be mindful you are trying to create an iconic tower which is going to stand next to the river jamuna which is flowing which is a, a 12 months all 20, all the year round there is a water in it water may be less or more but the water is flowing right there it is full of sand so all those conditions the sandy uh, what is the soil conditions what is the wind condition 
what is the water condition all these details are available on our website because accordingly the whole thing will have to be designed and this will have to be erected whatever whether it's a tower or building or whatever it is not going to be inhabited but those constraints are very much there so you be mindful of it it will have to be produced made of some material it could be steel it could be titanium it could be simple brick and mortar it could be uh, could be uh, stones it could be anything you have to think of it what is that it will be made of just think of it i mean i have said uh, professor sarbuddin took this 134 meters is the height which is permissible height and i am not asking you to go for 134 meters you can go for any height but i would like you to because when i visit some of the cities like uh, last my uh, foreign visit official was to uh, tokyo and in tokyo when i went up to the tokyo tower right at the top of the tower i could see the whole of the city just think of it if we have this kind of iconic tower next to the river jamuna and somebody goes up from there he should be able to see the central vista which is coming up he should be able to see the raspati bhavan the new museum the national museum as a north block and south block he should be able to see the new parliament building if he is able to see he can imagine i mean the the kind of message you are sending that that is something one can go up and experience the whole change in the central vista they can also experience the changes on the other side of the river other side of the river which is uh, 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 I mean, part of delhi this uh, uh, our uh, 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 this commonwealth games village there is the commonwealth games the akshar dham temple uh, uh, then it's going to be uh, part of the gaziabad noida all this area the new development they could see that and they could see what this country how this country is changing so that kind of experience how I mean, you go to the city of paris you go to the city of the uh, eiffel tower you go to chicago you go to uh, um, uh, uh, to uh, uh, any i mean such, such cities you will find such kind of tower watch tower we do not have anything like this in anywhere in india if this is going to come up this will be the first one in india whether it is delhi mumbai chennai kolkata any part of the country we do not have this kind of a tower we can have this kind of a tower just think over it think over it that what is that it should be it should be real iconic like the british created india gate and whenever delhi is painted anywhere you either remember it as a india gate or remember it as a kutub uh, uh, kutub minar the kutub minar and india gate has become kind of a symbolic to delhi or you think of uh, bombay then you say gateway of india can you i mean this is a challenge british did it latian did it 75 years ago today we have so much of technology we have so much of precision you can go on a computer you can think of it anything you can think of it you can uh, uh, simulate everything can you do something which is beyond it let delhi be represented by your tower your something which you have created in time to come not thousand years i'm saying even after five years once the tower, uh, tower or whatever whatever building or uh, image whatever may be there i'm just uh, the tower comes as a natural thing whatever it comes can delhi become represented by uh, delhi be seen as this this building it can be so this is this is the human ingenuity this is the human uh, brain your your brain can work and you can come out with a creative thing which will represent delhi which will represent the seat of power in the in the government can you do that it will represent this age of the transformation so can we have that kind of a iconic and a defining building it will define delhi it will be real iconic it should become timeless i mean something which can remain stand there even after thousands of years because the human humanity is going to be there the power civilization is going to be there or people are going to that only we are going to change but this humanity is going to be there can it become timeless it does not matter whether you are talking after 100 years or 500 500 years or 1000 years even after 1000 years anybody from india any part of the world the world may change but this tower this particular monument can stand and it can keep inspiring people keep reminding people about the age 
which represented the real transformation of what the biggest transformation this never this nation has ever seen now i'm saying beyond even 75 years even earlier also you go back in history and this kind of a transformation in such a short period of time would not i mean i at least with my little knowledge of history i don't know there was any age in india where this kind of a change whether it was a port whether it was the airport whether it was railways whether it's the roadways whether it was telecom sector whether it was i mean cleaning the nation it was city whether it was the rural area whether it was agriculture whatever you think of any think of an area and you will find the change was there professor sasbuddev will tell me that even his technical institutions the kind of transformation which this age has seen will not was not seen in any part of this so this this age be represented by your tower how i don't know i don't have an answer you are intelligent people you are the creative people you can think i can't think but i can imagine that what it could be once it comes maybe yes i will stand next to it and see that well this gentleman or this group has created this kind of a thing it should be aspirational why aspirational because the country has become aspirational right now you heard the honorable prime minister from the ramparts of the uh, red fort on 15th august 2021 he said now is the journey for complete transformation we give whatever we give we give fully if the housing housing to all water to all cleanliness to all skill to all uh, education to all i mean this is something which we move towards move towards saturation something what the developed nation have achieved and we feel good when we go to such kind of developed nation that you find everywhere everybody is like this can we not do it this transformation age has shown us the path that we can do it and we don't require any resources from outside it just requires tweaking on the available resources and we can do it so this kind of aspiration as professor sasbuddin mentioned is skill india or uh, startup india or digital india i mean digital india is a is a huge transformation i know still some path is to be covered but there is a big transformation so digital india clean india uh, uh, namami gange all these things the aspirations of india these are our aspirational statement these aspirational statement maybe i don't know how but somehow yes you uh, you have to find an answer how this can be represented in this particular building it has to be indigenous we cannot get a copy from the outside this nation is full of knowledge absolutely i have no doubt i have read a lot about this treasure of the knowledge we i mean after all the reading we do not even reach to 0.001% the huge knowledge this country has got think of a field whether it is astronomy astrology medicine anything this country is full of knowledge only in some part of the age we have forgotten our, ourselves we forgotten that we were i mean go back some 2000 years back the books in astronomy the books in mathematics which are written they are immense knowledge but at some point of time we put a curtain over our knowledge and we started respecting the west we forget our own uh, own self let us reinvent ourselves let us reinvent ourselves and make sure that we get atmanirbhar bharat it is the country we will create this using our own knowledge our own people i call oci because ocis are these are the people who went outside only for some higher opportunities better opportunity but they are connected to our own country they are connected fully connected they would like to come here and work like a professor work like a any other thing so do business do commerce do anything so they they are also part of india they are indian by heart physically maybe they are they are settled in some other place that is how we created the ministry of home affairs came out with the concept of overseas citizen of india it has to be atmanirbhar bharat and uh, it should be commemorative commemorative somehow please try to associate i will request the words like honorable prime minister says india at 75 the word seven number 75 or maybe 2022 maybe i mean azadi amrit mahotsav something which will commemorate because it will it has to ring bell into mind that well this was created when the country was celebrating its amrit mahotsav 
how it can be done as i told you that we have cut, we have carved out from 118 hectare which is a huge area 118 hectare is uh, like more than one kilometer square that much of a amrit biodiversity park is coming up one point 118 hectare it is like 1.18 square kilometers on that 1.18 square kilometers we have only carved out 22.22 uh, 20.22 acres because it will represent this amrut mahoso the year 2022 if you can get these numbers 75 2022 or any other way well i mean uh, i don't know there are uh, people think out of box and they come out with various things which we don't think so you may come out with anything so that it is commemorative automatically it should ring a bell in anybody's mind that this was done in this transformative age of india so i will stop here and i'm ready to uh, find any questions any kind of doubt but uh, 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 i will advise you i will request you i'll urge you all of you please don't restrict it to yourself because creativity is not restricted to any individual creativity can come from the group can come from anywhere so please pass on the word i mean if you know all of you i mean those who are coming from different colleges different uh, architecture institutions planning institutions you have got hundreds of i mean in today's world uh, we have got this whatsapp group or the social media you can pass on this to your whole group who knows the real thing may come from somewhere else so let us spread it i, I mean i know that thousands of people have died today but can that thousand become ten thousand can that thousand can become twenty thousand if you spread the word more and more people are going to participate before i end let me remind you that this is a challenge and challenge is not an open challenge it's a challenge which will end at a certain time when we opened it on 27th of july we decided that the last day of entry is going to be 19th of october at 7 pm 19th of october which is exactly five weeks from today exactly five weeks from today and the five weeks is adequate time i mean this is is a more than enough time if you can pass on to the people you can definitely come out with a real class thing which will any part of the world will envy that india has created this kind of an iconic uh, iconic tower and i'm confident with our cpwd i mean central public works department and the other engineers and uh, technical people we have that we will translate into the real thing your imagination your uh, conceptualization is we will con uh, 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 convert into the real thing and that will come up in maybe i mean the whatever reasonable time 12 months or 18 months the engineers will assess it but all other details I will request you kindly visit www.cpwd.in. Please do visit this site. You will get all the details. You will get the drawing. You will get what is that you need to submit. And you need to submit all that information before this date, the date of 19th of October 2021, which happens to be the same day as it is today. Today is Tuesday. It is going to be Tuesday. 19th of october 2021 and 7 pm so please do remember this i thank uh, dr jere and professor sasabuddha for organizing this workshop and i'm very much happy to i mean i'll be very happy to uh, give any kind of uh, clarification or information which you would like to and take your suggestion also how to make it further broad based how to make it further broad based and uh, uh, I'm really hoping for a big thing uh, when we have to uh, uh, request the jury to select. It should be a difficult time for them to select for giving a gift to our future generation. Thank you.